Boom. Oh, well, there's a bit of a... That's better. We had a leisurely cruise back to Boston. Parked ourselves up on a mooring outside Boston Waterboat Marina. And then we had a quick trip up to see the Grand Winkies. And then legged it back because Hurricane Lee was heading our way. And then having changed our flights, paid extra, got refunds, booked a flight for December by mistake, we made it back to enjoy flat cams in Boston. From Boston it was down through the Cape Cod Canal, Long Island Sound, round New York, up the Delaware River, parked up in Baltimore for the rugby, went to Washington for a look around, Annapolis for the boat show and Lydia's for Virginia in the fall, took in some American football, and then finally down to Gary and Greta's in Norfolk. So we're following this Amel through the Cape Cod Canal. What a difference a few months make we came through here in brilliant sunshine and fantastic wind. And now we're going through in horrible stormy weather. That reminds me why I don't have a monohull. I've been complaining today that I felt sick. But certainly not as sick as they must be. Well, Long Island Sound. Better day today. Oh, isn't that rather lovely? As long as you're not paying the diesel bills. Which is good. And we're in New York. And we're sailing. We're sailing down towards Manhattan. Under these good... Hell's Gate. And we're sailing just to save fuel, you know? We're not Scottish or anything. Full sail. Probably breaking every rule in the book. You're absolutely right. So here we go. Oh, nobody's come to stop us. And there's New York. There's the Chrysler building. And the Empire State building. Wow. So we're still sailing. That was Hell's Gate. And look at, oh, we've dropped to 10 knots. We were doing 12 knots a minute ago. Five through the water and 10 over the ground. That's the current going through Hell's Gate. Well, here we are. We're motor sailing now. We need to be able to steer under the iconic Brooklyn Bridge. Isn't it just amazing? Plus Roosevelt Island cable car. One of the things to do in New York is walk across Brooklyn Bridge. Very few people get to see it. Wow. Okay, goodbye Lady Liberty. We'll see you again next year. That was a very fleeting visit. This is the Delaware at 7 in the morning, just after dawn. We have been told there are a lot of flies up here. I have never seen so many flies in my life. And that includes Australia. I mean, they are just absolutely everywhere. We were pressing on to get to the Annapolis Boat Show, so we took a shortcut up the Delaware to go through the Chesapeake and Delaware Canal and of course it was shut. What is it with the bridges this trip? Everywhere we go someone puts a bridge in front of us. Fortunately twice the height we are. But this is the Chesapeake and Delaware Canal. And as the Scotsmen say to each other, Yaffa Yat, but Yat Yaffa. <laughs> It's in the canal, so you can all see it. And the race is on, another boat on the water. Except he's got a few thousand horsepower more than we have. I can't believe it. Not only is this a trip of bridges, but it's a trip of fog. Here we go again, Chesapeake Canal. Where are you? Bridges and fog behind us. We made it up to Baltimore. 
where I have to say we spent most of the time in the pub watching the Rugby World Cup. From Baltimore we thought we'd play tourist and head for Washington for a look around. After we'd walked ourselves silly doing the sites and the museums, we headed for Annapolis. Behind me is Pinkney Street, one of the historic districts of Annapolis. Beautiful old houses. And up here is the State House. This is the capital of Maryland. And Annapolis, apart from being one of the world's largest Yachting Centres is also home to the US Naval Academy. And look what we stumbled on. The band of the Royal Marines was on a whistle stop tour. We played in Norfolk the night before and today we're at the Naval Academy. In the water the kids were getting ready for the Olympics and we got ready to head down to Norfolk. Somewhere along the line I'm sure I've commented on our membership of the Ocean Cruising Club. And one of the great things is you can turn up at people's docks, park your boat, and then head ashore for a lovely meal. So we're off to Bill and Lydia's. And not only did they look after us like lost children, they let us watch the rugby final. This is what normal people do. And after the rugby, it was time for Halloween. And so, here we are again. Another fancy dress party, made a fool of ourselves. No prizes won, but we had a good time. And then Bill and Lydia had another treat in store for us. I usually try and keep the videos short and sharp, if you can believe it. But this next lot, you got to see. <laughs> That's all one team. <laughs> the Stricklands. <laughs> At this time, we present to you the award 2023, the University of Virginia Cavalier Marching Band. Leading the band.
And while the girls take the field, so do the team. Not to mention the cavalier on a horse complete with sabre. It's time to move on. Fall is falling and winter is coming. So we're going to leave the dock and head for sunny Grenada. Don't give up the ship. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks to all our hosts as we came through the US. It was brilliant. We're off down to Grenada. It's going to be a while before the next video, but... Hope you enjoyed it and come back for the next one.